But, uh, so were you shocked when you saw Dan? I'm, I'm so glad I saw the picture. So you were, he you were prepared a little bit. He had his uniform on. Right. And of course it was just hanging. Right. Um, but at least he was covered. I didn't, you know. Right. He wasn't bony. I mean, uh -huh. you know, he didn't. Well, you know. Trump, right. You feel bony, that. You but, feel that. Uh, I would have been. I wouldn't. Yeah. Well, I would have known. But you were so glad to see him. Yeah. It, it didn't just, make any difference. Right. And of course, all the Lowers and all the Hammonds and everybody came. They had a big party that night. I don't know. We had, we did, well, they, they were all coming, coming and going. They coming and going. And I don't know if there was a party, but they were. Well, it wasn't so much a party, but you know, everybody was so welcome glad to home. See their Philip. Right. Yeah. That was kind of a favorite. And see, Jack Elliott got home a month, or maybe six, seven weeks before Phil. And they, they, Rosemary and he were already married too. Yeah. They married they, during the war? Yeah, but no. they lived with Rose with, Philbeth, with no. Ellen, or I mean with his mom, and I did too. Mm -hmm. And uh, of, course, of course, by that time, Carol just thought Jack was the greatest thing that ever happened. Uh -huh. And she cried every time her father picked her up. Well, Carol was about a year old. Well, no, she was no, only she seven, eight months. Year old no, no, she didn't. But she made, you know, would make strange. She didn't know that man. Well, of course not. Yeah. That kind of did your father off. Wow. It's so and hard. Jack, Jack was one to really rub it in. Well, Jack had been home. About six, seven weeks is all. Okay. Maybe September to November. I don't remember. Right. And where, where did he serve? Europe. In Europe. He so was a paratrooper. Paratrooper. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So he must have seen some yeah, action. Sure he, did. he did. And nobody talked about it, did they? I didn't hear Dad talk about the war up until I bet the last two or three years before he died. Are you serious? It wasn't talked about. No, they came home and you, Went on with you couldn't talk about it. Uh, maybe they couldn't. Maybe they no, couldn't. Because it was too horrible. And they didn't want to ruin this thing that they had here mm -hmm. with that horrible thing that they'd seen, stuff, they'd seen things they'd, they'd never thought they'd ever see. Mm -hmm. And even though Dad wasn't on the front line, I mean, he, he saw things, you know, those casualties, and you told mm -hmm. me, you know, and he told me about people he trained with who crashed and things yeah. like that. A lot of us, a lot of the bombardiers. And then the people that, um, you know, he didn't, mm -hmm. so he probably got to know those people pretty well. They were his and friends. And they didn't come home. And a lot of them didn't come home. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and then. But once he did come home, he we needed he needed a job because he he wanted to get out of the army in the worst way, and he's always regretted that later in life. Yeah. Because he would have had a great retirement. Of course, yeah. <laughs> oh, he would have retired. He would have gotten out. He would have in his forties, he yeah, he could have got out before he was fifty, and then yeah, and had another had career. a second career, been an airline pilot, right? You know, yeah. But he just wanted to get out. Well, a lot of people did. Uh -huh. Most people did. And uh, so when he did come home, then we, he got a job in San Antonio, and we in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And so you moved down to San Antonio. So Carol and I, he went down ahead of me. And then he got an apartment, garage apartment, plush. He picked it up, of course. No. No, he picked it out. It was all you could get. Right. You couldn't, you know. Housing was tight, housing I was imagine. Housing was really, it was a beautiful, I think San Antonio is a beautiful town. Yeah. And we were just living in the back of the, well, the cleaning lady lived downstairs, you know. Mm -hmm. In yeah, the, for the big in the for the big house. Right, and we lived in the apartment upstairs. Right, and uh, did you have air conditioning? No, goodness. Mary, I wasn't raised with air conditioning. I was being raised hot? raised with a fan. If you were hot, you got a newspaper. And you waved it. You didn't even have electric fans. We didn't. No. Mm. Oh we were poor. I don't think you were poor, but you always owned your own home. Well, we were always paying for a home. 
Right. And eventually, the house that on Hemlock Avenue, probably, I don't, it came with an, another block, a, 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 I don't know if it was acreage, but another block of land. And my father had built a little bungalow there. We, we didn't live in the bungalow, but he sold the bungalow. And then that's when we moved to Highland Avenue for Ann. Right. But I'm sure he, and that came with all those houses down the street to the, almost to the corner. So he was, he really should have been in real estate because mm -hmm. he knew a good, good deal. He was a, kind of a businessman. Yeah, he could For buy and sell and... Yeah, well, I knew a good right. piece of land. Right. And uh, right. now all those homes are, all those brick homes next door to yeah. my sister Ann. Just all belong to that, Ann, I mean, Ann's house, or my folks' house. They, uh -huh. they do. There weren't, any, it was, there weren't any houses on it. It was just all land. Mm -hmm. But homes were, I mean, the... Lot was sold and houses built, and another lot was sold, built. So, but we turned around, and I'm not going to mention. After my father died, we sold the house to Ann mm -hmm. for little or nothing. But she took. And did care. your mom stay there in the no, house? No, my mother died first. Well, she she did. She my did. mother died at 62. Okay. My father was 70. Okay, so this was not until. 1960-something, no. well, that took place. Yeah, you were away, right. yeah. Right. But, uh, right. Okay, that's good, Mom. We're at the end of this. And okay. We can take a break, because that's... <laughs>